Now I just go briefly for you the content of the uh, Abarakatsu handbook. Now, service with a smart. Service with a smart. Why service with a smart? Because you will be the guest good impression. Good impression. It's a must to run hotel. And show your willingness to help. Smart means you are pleased to have the guest. Please have the guest. And you create and sustain a pleasant experience. Sustain to keep, to keep. A pleasant experience. That means when you say goodbye to the guest, although at the first time you meet the guest, you smile. But when you say goodbye to the guest, after the guest had the diner in the restaurant or have stayed in the hotel, but when you say goodbye to the rest, the guest you don't say hey, you don't smile. So create and keep, certain keep a pleasant experience. What the guest have experienced in the hotel. Thoughtfulness. Thoughtfulness means you prefer the guest to the guest by name. By name. I'll ask you, uh, how can you remember a guest's name? How can you? Okay, some remarks from the guest. That means you, you remember the guest by your memory. And you have techniques, uh, something with the beard, some that, okay, memory. Second thing, by uh, guest history, guest history in your computer, guest history. The third, when the guest showed the letter of confirmation, when he, he goes to the the counter and he shows the letter of confirmation, you look at this. Okay? And you you glance, you glance at the registration card where the guest do the the registration. You glance, you glance at the registration card to, to know his name. His name. Speak clearly. Speak clearly. Make eye contact. You have learned make eye contact. Habit of saying is your your speech. Yes, please. Thank you. May I help you? Pardon me. Enjoy your meal. Have a pleasant stay. You, you should learn this in your handbook. Be happy with suggestions, advice, and offer of assistance. For example, if you're working in the restaurants, you recommend the food. You recommend the food in the hotel. You see, with suggestions. You see, advice. That means you advise the guests what they should have for the dinner. dinner. Because any of you, any of the staff of town will be the the sales person, the sales person. Not the the sales and marketing person in charge of the sales marketing. You are the sales person. Any of you, each of you will be the sales person for the hotel. You don't you, you shouldn't think that the sales this is a sale part. I will do it sell. You sell the rooms, you sell the service, you sell the the food, you said the tricks. You must must keep in your mind. And this is the guest needs. And this is the needs. That means when you uh, you're standing at the corner or in the, the the guest table, but you 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 must know what the guest wants. They would have to, they would have to order, and you come near the guest and ask if they would like to order. Okay. And attentiveness. How about this? You keep your eyes and ears open. Keep your eyes and ears open. Alert. Looking for guests who are in need. Listen to their suggestions or complaints. Complaints. By complaints, I will tell you how to deal with the complaints. And take action. If you are, you show attentiveness to guests, but you won't take action, so it's no use. So you must take action. Action and place and degree of attention and service. When you, you work in restaurants, you, you must pay the same degree. That means you, you, you shouldn't pay too much attention to this lady or this man, but you ignore another. Your, your eye contact. First of all, you are you're sitting there. 
I'm, I'm, I'm serving here, but I know that you are waiting for me, for my, my, my service. You just nod and you smile, you are contact, and he knows that you have recognized him, and he is assured that you will come to him to serve him, to take his order. Okay. Listen to and respect his opinion. The guest opinion is very important because he will help a hotel to make progress. progress. Because maybe he has experiences, he has uh, business travelers, he has gone around the world, has, gone, has been to a hotel, restaurant, and he, he has some, some comments. So you must listen and respect the guest opinion. And the second thing, the guest is always right. When you go to a hotel, you must know the guest is always right. And take action to serve. I should serve. Possible anticipation, I know, anticipate that you are very excited now because time is over. Last one. That's good. Okay. Very important. The color say it handle the confidence of guests. This is techniques. This is a very professional, it is derived from a five star book. This is for five star staff. You see, a lot of procedure for you. Although just a complaint, possible. This, uh, uh, this is dirty. <laughs> very, very simple sentence, but you must take these steps. Very professional. Or the guest that um, I will be very dirty. If no more subjects say, oh, I will change it. That's all. I will change it. That's all. But uh, professional staff, a uh, high stars, a terror staff. This is the procedure, the steps. First, you should be calm. You don't say anything, be calm. Listen attentively. Listen attentively what the guest complain. Make no comments until he finishes. You see, this is also important. Although you are calm, listen attentively, but you, you interrupt the guest and you will make him more irritating, more upset. Take note, if necessary, you have a small book in the, your pockets. Any of your must or should have a small notebook and you note down. Take note. Repeat contents of complaints. That, that means a feedback. You show that you have uh, acknowledged, you have grasped what the guest, what contents of the guest, what the guest have complained. Say apology, say sorry. All my apology, explain the situation. For example, if the guest complain, if the restaurant complain that they, they must wait so long, too long, they have been waiting too long, what do you say? Explain the situation. How can you explain the situation? You can say, for example, I'm sorry, sir, we are shock stopped today. We are shock stopped today. We are shock stopped. Okay. We are shock stopped today. We are rather shock stopped today. What's the word at least? We must explain the situation and tell guests who we should not have created a problem. Possible we say that, I'm sorry, sir. The housekeeping, the housemaid should uh, have been done this, or they should have uh, taken care of your new room. Tell us how the problem will be solved. That means, uh, for example, I will uh, tell the, the, the housemaid to come to clean the room. With them. Who will attend to the problem? Who will attend to the problem? And how the problem will be solved? Check against your proper personnel. If you don't have authority to serve or buy the chances of guests, that means this is not of your number of guests. That means this is not of your number of guests. That means this is not of your number of guests. That means they want to make the higher position man. So take it to proper personnel. That means the uh, the, the assistant manager or the uh, supervisor. Make record of his name and details of the complaint. Thank you for bringing the incident to your attention and apology for any inconveniences caused. This is a very personal way to, to serve the complaint of the guest. Okay. Any problems so far?